Hey, this is Peter from Simpson Develop, and this is my first tutorial on setting up Eclipse for Java development. Okay, so to create our Java applications, we're going to use the Eclipse IDE, and this is available for Mac and Linux. Um, to download the Eclipse, just go to eclipse.org and click on Downloads. I recommend the Eclipse IDE for developers, for Java developers, and if you click here you can select Windows, Linux or Mac. Um, and if your PC is quite recent then just go for Mac 64 bit or Windows 64 bit. Click on here to download it. Mine's already downloaded so in downloads I have this eclipse.tar.gz if you're running Windows it'll be a .zip and I'm just going to click on it to extract it. Okay, so that's now extracted to this Eclipse folder and to install the Eclipse folder you just drag the Eclipse folder into applications sure what I've already done and now it's installed we can just search for it in Spotlight Eclipse and it boots up Eclipse now when you whenever you run Eclipse it will ask you to select a workspace and this is where all your projects will be saved to so I've created uh, I've specified a workspace in my documents called programming Java tutorials um, do something the same or very similar to that and click OK now we're presented with this window um, if if there's a welcome screen here, just close the welcome screen because you don't need the welcome screen. And our first exercise is called Hello World. And Hello World um, contains a hello.txt, which is the instructions for the exercise, and a hello.java file, which is the Java file which we need to import into Eclipse to start the exercise. Now to do this we need to create a new project in Eclipse because Eclipse works by creating projects. To do this click File, New, Java Project and give the project a name One Hello World. Now if you uh, make sure you use default locations ticked because this will save um, create a new folder called One Hello World in the workspace you defined earlier so this is programming Java tutorials one hello world um, use an uh, execution environment which is fine it's using Java 1.6 which is the latest one and create separate folders for source and class files is also fine so we click finish and you can now see on the package explorer in the left hand side you've got your hello world um, project if we expand this, you'll see that it's including the Java 1.6 environment and a source folder. Now, you need to import this hello.java into this source folder. So all we have to do is drag the hello.java into the source folder and it will bring up this box here. Now this box says select how files should be imported into the project and we want to make sure copy files is selected because this will copy the, the file hello.java into the source folder if we have link to file selected it will just use um, it will just link it to wherever it exists at the moment which we don't want so click OK and expand this out here so we'll see we've got the hello.java included in our default package in our source folder if we double click the hello.java it will bring it up here and every .java file contains a class and it's the same name as the .java so this one's called hello because it's hello.java in the same the same case so small h and every class contains a main method public static void main so every main method takes in an array of strings called argv and you don't need to worry about this for now but this is how you define a main 
and what our main method does at the moment is does it has one line in saying system dot out dot print ln and a few dots. So if we run it by clicking this green button here, saying run. In the console at the bottom, it will display a few dots followed by one new line. You can see it goes onto a new line here. If we delete this ln here and run it again, it will it won't go onto the new line, it will it will just end there. Because ln means a new line. So we're gonna keep the ln in for now and you'll you'll find that when you do system out of print you normally want to do print ln. And we'll look at the first instructions for exercise one, hello.txt, and it says write a program to print out the message hello world exclamation mark. And at the bottom it normally shows your typical input and typical output. There's no input. All you need to do is have hello world exclamation mark. So we copy this in to here where it prints out the full stops to hello world exclamation mark. And run that and prints out hello world. And that's our first exercise. It's really simple, but it shows you how to set up and import projects and files into Eclipse. For this tutorial, I hope it proved useful. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.